Hi everyone, um, welcome to Kumar Exclusive and um, this is Kumar. Uh, thanks for all the new subscribers and uh, the topic of the video is like I got a response uh, from a subscriber from UK. Uh, basically he moved from uh, India to UK. I mean I don't want to give uh, much details but I took a permission um, from him and then he sent an eye opener email. He watched the video that one uh, uh, yeah um, he watched that video an IT software engineer an email from IT in software engineer senior software engineer frustrated I mean from India so he shared um, his thoughts whatever so there are five points I found in his email and he would like to uh, give a chance for me to uh, share with you through this video so the points are let me read you know, Indians are very religious in uh, puja rooms and in temples churches mass at work business oblique business uh, they forget God teachings of uh, scriptures values and virtues uh, this is what wonderful uh, thought I mean I would like to share and uh, point to in some companies, um, HR management are uh, secretly linked and support each other. Um, this is especially from India. Uh, he worked there, so he shared his experiences. Support each other on the face and uh, may find fault with each other, but they know what is going on and no change. If suppose somebody work three shifts of work from uh, two shifts from one guy in one shift or two shifts, right? So, in confront with manager, um, manager or uh, HR, they act um, as if um, they don't know, but they know the truth. Uh, that's what. And then IT companies both all started well, but last um, employees within three to five years replaced by fresh graduates, undergraduates who had to learn from the scratch. So, the point he would like to convey is IT companies both foreign MNCs and Indian MNCs all started well uh, but they practice this next point half of the fresh employees work for one to three years and jump to USA for higher uh, education or go to work on H1B next point actual honest performance evaluation happens when an, when an experienced engineer resigns, uh, this is called last minute correction. I, I also agree. Next point, IT companies in India never took off height altitude of 35,000 feet. Just wake up, just went up to 1,000 feet and uh, came down like a big paper aeroplane. So this is the uh, five points I would like to convey. and. Um, when I stayed in Ohio a very short time in a room, the roommate was international student um, because uh, let me, the roommate was international student and um, the student worked eight months in a TCS company in India. So he resigned. Then I interviewed, asked the questions, whatever. Then he said the, about work culture in India. He doesn't like, he wants to study. Um, that's what if I meet 10 international students from India out of more than five or already worked in India and then frustrated and then they came to US for MS or MBA or uh, whatever the branches the subjects post graduation that they applied so it is because of the work culture in India is uh, long hours and uh, I'm speaking truth man so I don't know if somebody cry for my videos so that is what happened I would like to add that point and also I also noticed like uh, most of the uh, software firms have seen Fridays they do a lot of Lakshmi Puja or I am not specifying one religion Hindu religion uh, Hindi, Hindu Christianity or uh, Islamic whoever it is they do highly religious but at work and business like that gentleman mentioned they forgot and also in government I come across a uh, very good um, driver he said 
I asked him like when everybody is going for namaz, why are you not going? Uh, then he said, work is worship. Uh, Allah told work is worship. So that's why I stay for the boss. Because he never knows the boss is advisor to the chief minister, head of the state. So he never knows when they go out for uh, lunch or any other work, right, to other office. So that's how um, he stayed. I mean, I'm not generalizing, I'm quoting the examples, but majority were highly religious, but yeah, thank you for watching this video. Let me know uh, if you have any, this kind of experience or your experiences or you want to speak truth. Let us make it in the part three. Thank you.